What is the most ridiculous thing people have bragged about in front of you, which you found funny instead of being jealous? This woman at a nice clothing store was buying a dress for her husband's work holiday party. She was telling everyone he was a director at his firm and managed all these high-end clients. The more she talked about the party, the more I realized her husband and I worked for the same company. I asked her who her husband was and when she said his name I had to fight back laughter. He was not a director, not even close to one. I told her I knew her husband, we worked in the same department. She turned beet red and shut up bragging. How tough their body was, in that laxative tea and even an enema did nothing for them. Really bro, you're bragging about how constipated you are? You're full of crap. Exactly. The triathlon she ran. Hear me out. At first I was impressed. It wasn't any old triathlon, it was an Iron Man, which is a crazy featuring and she should rightly be proud. Then she kept going, and going, and going. Every conversation topic, every time she had a chance to speak, over and over for the entire evening she'd steer the discussion back to her Iron Man. To be clear, she hadn't run it recently. It was something she did once nearly a decade before. It got so bad I started genuinely wondering if she had ever talked about anything else at any point in her life since. And when I say any topic, I mean any topic. We were eating dinner so we tried discussing the wine. When I was training I had to stop drinking all wine from this region and that. And I could only blah blah blah. Food, I knew about avoiding carbs for years before it was a fad. You only eat them before the Iron Man something something politics. The city tried to change our route, and we had to ETC and so forth other sports. You know. Some people say training for the Iron Man is more intense than NHL hockey. We got a detailed breakdown of the freaking weather at each stage this race takes so you have to worry about changing weather it was unbelievable. I went from duly impressed to irritated, to having to stifle a laugh every time she opened her mouth. I guess sometimes one experience is so remarkable you can't think of anything else for a whole decade. My friend bragged about not sleeping for 3 days studying for math econ calc finals. Fell asleep during the exam. Shame. He was smart and would probably have aced it if well rested. Had to retake. From what I remember, he discovered a Daryl that semester and thought he was invincible. I had a roommate who would always condescend that I was tired after sleeping a few hours because he only slept one hour and is fine. Turns out he's a sea addict. In paramedic school there was a dude that would often brag and or flex by declaring I was on this class last year, as in failed, and is repeating, and thinks that's going to give him an edge. He wants to show off that been there before feeling that he knows no one else around him has lol, but sadly thinking it'll make him look cool. I had a regular brag to me about his 8 children, by 5 different women. To this day, I still don't know how he found that to be an accomplishment. On one hand it's a nightmare, on the other hand he's telling you 5 different women didn't abort his seed so his value must be high. Credit card debt. Seriously, I was at a weird dinner party thing and they were trying to one up each other on who had more debt. I strangely understand arguing over college loan debt as a way of saying it's outrageous, but credit card debt is usually something you put yourself into for stuff you don't need, so that seems like a really dumb thing to brag about. I was at least 32-34ish when I met Jeremy at work one day. He was a new building engineer at a stadium complex around my age. He starts telling me a story about how he impressed. You sure did big guy. A girl once at a party speaking about tantric sex. All I could think. Butthole if you're any good at something you don't need to tell people. But his bragging made me think he was a virgin living in his mom's basement. And I'm a dude, so not sure why he was trying to impress me with his ability to impress girls. Comma he starts telling me a story about how he impressed. You sure did big guy. A girl once at a party speaking about tantric sex. Oh my god no. No he didn't. He might have pontificated at length about tantric sex but no one was impressed. Trust. Somebody once bragged he was part of a famous building team in Minecraft. 
I have been designing Minecraft maps for several years semi-professionally, but never really considered it a job, nor tried to make it something bigger than a lucrative hobby. I knew the director of the building team personally and asked him about this guy. Turns out his entire portfolio consisted for 80% of stolen images from other building teams. Unfortunately this is very common among map makers. I immediately realized this too because all the images were taken with completely different shader settings, which just seemed very sloppy. The owner of the building team filed a takedown request against his entire portfolio on the image hosting site, as well as all the forums he advertised on. He got taken down and was banned from almost all of the forums. The reason why I even bothered checking was because he was being an absolute dong to me and insulting my works, because I wouldn't help him for free. I like to tell people Notch once personally threatened to sue a friend and I. I'm pretty proud of it, Notch is a dickhead. A woman I work with bragged to me about how her boyfriend, who is in jail, had a seizure and was in medical for a week because the balloon condom whatever full of him he shoved up his butt burst. About being voted high school class president, a decade after they graduated. So you've accomplished nothing since then? You literally peaked in high school? That was your big shining moment? Yikes. Little did you know he was also voted most likely to peak in high school. So you know. Joke's on you. I worked a job where everyone there smoked. Asked why I don't smoke. I mentioned health reasons. They processed to have a competition about how bad their health is because of smoking. I'm having trouble sleeping because I can't take deep breaths. That's nothing. I haven't taken a deep breath in years. Always makes me cough. You're not that bad yet. I've been smoking since I was a teen and sometimes I cough a bit of blood. Ooh. Way to make me know I'm hanging out with the brightest bunch at work. Reading your comment made me take a deep breath and appreciate it. How little she knows about her and her husband's finances. Like she doesn't know how much the car loan is her name costs them per month. Doesn't know their house payment. Nothing. Super strange to me how you could be that comfortable not knowing how much money is leaving you every month. A guy I know played D1 college football at a mid-major university. This was 20 years ago. He still brings it up daily. Wants to show people pictures of himself in uniform. And just constantly reminds us that this is what he did. Don't get me wrong. That's cool and all. But it was 20 years ago man. Move on. How much they spend on their hair nails makeup etc. I mean, it's nice to look well, but how expensive and exhausting to spend about half your time and money on just your appearance. I'm someone who likes makeup hair fashion etc and I find it more impressive when people got something for a good deal. I love finding stuff on sale lol. Most people probably know someone like this. But my brother-in-law is that guy that is either bragging about how he has worked 100 hours that week or how he only gets 1 hour of sleep a night. One of my friends bragged that he hasn't been to the dentist in almost a decade. Totally capable of going. Just chooses not to and bragged about it. So weird nasty. Maybe he brushes flosses well and doesn't have any impacted wisdom teeth. Those will send everyone to the dentist. My girlfriend proudly bragged to me how manipulative she can get to get what she wants from guys after I subtly called her out for that. To quote her, it's crazy how I can be manipulative. I just hate it when people need to compete on who has a worse life. I say a guy only get 4 hours sleep last night. They say well I only get 1. Well good for you your life is worse. I haven't slept since I died in the year 833. Dang Saxons. A guy was hitting on my girlfriend in front of me and bragging about skydiving, tandem, a few times but I had already completed F and had about 60 solo jumps in my log at the time. I had someone brag to me about how good they are at driving while drunk, like dude, bragging about something that could possibly kill innocent people is nothing you should be proud of. I find it frankly repulsive. I have a friend that loves to brag about how he puts people down. Whether it's through insults or authority, he is a manager. He freaking loves it. He can talk for hours how he told off the GM or how he threatened to fire a co-worker. It's so bad that he will walk into a manager's office, talk crap about another manager, then walk over to the other manager and complain about the first one. It's a small company so everyone knows he's like this. 
I'm sure he's figured out he can be a complete tool by now, but it still doesn't change him. That he was diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. Yes, I met someone who tried bragging about being an actual narcissist. It was such a next level narcissist move that we couldn't help but laugh. Somebody once bragged to me that the highest fever he had ever had was 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Your brain begins to essentially cook at 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Instead of arguing I just said makes sense there I not much left he didn't get it. My friend and I thought it was hilarious. 115 degrees Fahrenheit has been recorded in a surviving patient. Look up Willie Jones to see more info on it. Unless this guy actually was Willie Jones and he was still full of crap. Someone beat up a very special needs kid who was also non-verbal. Tried telling me how many hits he got in, so I gave him one too. I'm not one to condone violence but yes, that was the only appropriate response in that situation. My seal once bragged to me about being the only parent volunteer at my niece's school that was allowed to use the photocopier, and that the other parent volunteers looked up to her because of it. Ridiculous. Yes, and sad. A conversation with her was basically like one I have with my kids while I'm busy and they're telling me about Pokemon. Um hum, oh wow, oh, well that's cool, aha, uh -huh. neat. Oldman you remind me of the wife of a friend. We call her the radio. She basically just talks without pause, without intelligence and without remorse. We let her talk and ignore her, and she does not realize it. I once knew a guy who turned out to be a pathological liar. He founded several companies, all of which went out of business in short order, simply on the basis of him being able to lie successfully to angel donors. Think of that lady who founded that blood testing company, only on a smaller scale. Before I figured out what was going on I thought he was a fascinating, intelligent guy. After I found out I just sat back and listened to the lies in awe, and tried to get him to lie about utterly ridiculous things, which he inevitably did. One time, for example, we were talking about the death penalty. I said that I had once seen part of the beheading videos posted by a terrorist group and never wanted to see anything like it again. At some point, I asked if he'd ever seen anyone put to death. He said he had, that he saw someone executed in prison when he lived in Texas. He told me that he was in high school at the time and was really into serial killers. His girlfriend's dad was also a lawyer, and he had a client who was being executed. So, he got to go watch. I don't remember what my reaction was, but you don't have to know much about prisons or the law, or I guess decency. To know that the boyfriend of the daughter of the lawyer of the guy being put to death doesn't get to sit in the viewing area for an execution. I had no idea what to say. I was just stunned at the stupidity of it all. I think I asked him who it was he saw executed, and he responded with one of his stock I don't remember answers because that made total sense too apparently. Utterly nuts. Haven't spoken to or heard about him in years, but I'd bet significant money he's still around conning someone out of money. I worked with a one-upper and a co-worker and I took great pleasure trying to see how many times in a week he could one-up us. We kept a tally to decide who bought lunch on Friday. Dude, I just took the biggest crap. Oh, haha, awesome. No, really. He then proceeded to take out his phone and show me a picture of this giant crap he took. In his defense, it was definitely impressive. But you generally don't do that to people you first met a few hours earlier. A former colleague would brag about how massive her drinking debt from college was. She was still paying it off many years later. Girl, that's not something to be proud of. Summer between high school and college, a group of friends and I were playing drinking games. Eventually, never have I ever came up. This one girl, friend's second cousin, we had all just met her, was saying things she had done, then taking a drink. She was a couple years older than us, and it was completely obvious that she was trying to brag about being a badass mostly about sexual stuff, but some stuff about stealing and doing drugs was snuck in as well. One example was never have I ever had a train road on me just kidding yes I have. When one friend tried explaining how to play the game to her, she said yeah whatever, there's just nothing I haven't done and y'all are a bunch of prudes. I once worked with a guy that bragged, loudly and at great length about boning his first cousin like it was some kind of accomplishment. Some years later he went to prison for murdering some guy at the racetrack. 
about their husband children. I don't want either of them, but some people, mostly ex-classmates, think that I am just unlucky to not have those, and they brag about how cute their children are, or what they did at school, etc. They sometimes add I'm so sorry you haven't experienced this. I find this very weird, because 1. I really don't want kids, and I don't even hide it, and 2. If I would want kids, it would be very rude to brag about it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about the happy moms, who are just simply proud of their family, but the people, who want me to believe that their life is better than mine. As a former drug addict, there's a very uncomfortable and silly culture of who's the most bad but drug addict. I've seen countless times friends and acquaintances bragging over age addiction, methamphetamine addiction, etc. A guy said I've slept with over 67 girls and it struck me as oddly specific but also general. Over 67? So 68? Why not just say 68? He was obviously full of crap. 66.5 but I rounded it up. Overheard an older woman where I used to work brag about her massive beanie baby collection. She was naming off the ones she has as if they were fabric eggs. She had no idea how little those things are actually worth. Last time the family got together, my cousin told a sad little story about using his knowledge of transport regulations to intimidate a taxi driver who warned him about lighting up a cigarette in a hospital car park. He was so satisfied with that victory. Don't want tobacco smell in your car? I'll get you fired, bro. I had a date tell me her IQ in the first 5 minutes of the date. I laughed out loud. People who get their IQ tested as children usually have it done as a rule out for learning disorders as an explanation for behavioral issues. It's like announcing your problem child. I also briefly dated a woman who kept bragging about her IQ in groups, and it wasn't even that impressive. Everyone would just awkwardly look at each other, wordlessly confirming that this woman may have just announced she was the stupidest person in the room. Number of watches he bought, like one thousands of dollars. Every day in office he'd show me a new watch. I was always surprised and then confused on why he needed a closet full wrist watches. No one needs a bunch of anything really, yet we love to collect things. It often fills a hole we have in our heart. The end. I was at a movie with a friend of a friend, and I asked if he had read the book. No, I don't read books. Reading is for losers. You read a lot? I replied that I did, and really enjoyed it. You do you man. I don't do that stuff. Matter of fact, I don't even know how to read. I don't do none of that nerd crap. I remember him looking at me like I was supposed to be in awe of his coolness, but all I could think is this guy is never gonna make it. The amount of people he had slept with, and that he thought I was losing out by being with only one for 7 years. Like dude, seriously? I'd rather have that than just dipping a new source every few days. Why try a new one when you found the best? I respect man. This one is sad. I have a male colleague that keeps bragging about a bunch of stuff, including how wealthy he is, how many love conquests he has, how many girls he sleeps with and so on. You get the picture. Likes to brag about his substance abuse too. But that same person also clearly doesn't know how to make budget and save money. He's actually always in need of money. He's also single and has trouble getting GFs and keeping them for sad, obvious reasons. He's living a very miserable life and isn't changing anything about it but would also always whine about it. He acts like a juvenile 13 year old but he's nearly 40 years old. I used to work with a girl who would go on and on about how small her hands were. Apparently she could close car doors on her fingers and not be hurt. They'd just stick out the other side and she'd have to wait for someone to open it. I mean having your hands shut in a door and not being hurt is pretty impressive. I'd say you gotta hand it to her but she probably couldn't hold it. I used to work with a girl and we went out to lunch occasionally. Sometimes we took my car and sometimes we took hers. But when she said it, let's go in my Mercedes, it was old, headlights were all yellowish, interior passenger handle to pull the door shut was ripped most of the way off, front spoiler was held on by black duct tape, not impressed one bit, although she was very proud. How many women they been with, doesn't bother me one bit and I'm not jealous, I'm loyal to a hot wife and don't need many others to sleep with to make me happy. 
people love to brag about how much they hate something. That's pathetic to me. Every other thing people brag about to me is usually pretty cool including most things in this thread. Had my high school reunion and ran into my old high school girlfriend. She was very proud that she is raising two little girls by herself. She has already been married and divorced twice and just quit her job. Weird flex. But okay. I dodged a huge bullet. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.